Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about four fundamental forces and the grand unit class theory in physics. In the world, the forces can be divided into four fundamental forces, which are the strong interaction force, weak interaction force, gravity, and the electromagnetic force. Let's go back to the first force, the strong interaction force. The strong interaction force is a force that is produced by the exchange of gluons. It combines protons and neutrons together and holds quarks in protons and neutrons as well. This kind of force is the strongest force in the world, but it is a short range force that has the second shortest range, which can only act on 10 to the negative 15 exponent to 10 to the negative 10 exponent meters. The strong interaction force can be used artificially by nuclear fission and nuclear fusion, such as nuclear pens and nuclear weapons. The second force is the opposite against the strong interaction force. Yes, it is the weak interaction force. The weak interaction force is the second weakest and the shortest range force in the universe. It is responsible for the radioactive decay of subatomic particles. For example, if the strong interaction force is acting act, uh, like the glue that holds the subatoms not running away from the neutrons and protons, the weak interaction force is a force that pushes against a strong interaction force that helps all particles disintegrate to quarks. The third force is a gravity force, which is the most special force in the universe. It is a force of attraction that is caused by the mass and the only force that cannot be explained by the quantum theory model. Although it is the weakest force in the world, which is about 10 to the 38 time exponent times weaker than the strong interaction, 10 to the 36 uh, exponent times weaker than the electromagnetic force, and 10 to the 29 exponent times weaker than the weak interaction, but it is dominant force that adds a macroscopic scale. There is a hypothesis that gravity force is transformed by gravitation, which is a spin two, negative two, uh, spin two and zero mass boson. The last force is the electromagnetic force, which was formed by the theory of James Clerk Maxwell. It is the second strongest force and short range force as well. It is caused by the exchange of virtual photons and the cars between electrically charged particles. Uh, the electromagnetic force is now revised and explained by the quantum electrodynamics theory. It is widely used in electricity generation. The grand unified theory is an ultimate theory of physics, which merges all four fundamental forces together into a single force. Experiments have already confirmed that at high energy, the electromagnetic interaction and weak interaction interaction will unify into a single electroweak interaction. The grand unified theory models predict that at even higher energy, the strong interaction and the electroweak interaction will unify into a single electronuclear interaction. There are no many uh, different theory proposed, such as SU5 and SO10. This theory is predicted that for, electro, uh, for each electrical weak Higgs doublet, there is a corresponding colored Higgs triplet field with a very small mass. In theory, unifying quarks with lepton, the Higgs doublet would also be unified with the Higgs triplet. The triplet have not been absorbed yet, and also, most grand unified theory models also fail to explain the little hierarchy between the forming masses for different generations. For myself, I believe super string theory. In this theory, it describes all particles as a form of string that evaporates in one dimension. 
Different particles can be described as different vibration forms. In this theory, all matters, forces, and energy can be explained by the fusion fission. This theory is different from the string theory by accounting for both feminine and bosons and incorporates supersymmetry to the model of gravity. Also, it dictates that our universe is like a membrane of the true world based on there are 10 dimension uh, space in total and one, uh, and one dimension time, so that the force of gravity can be explained by the membrane theory. The gravitation is the only particle, or in other words, the string that does not tie on our universe's membrane, so it can transfer forces between different dimensions. That is why gravity is weakest, the weakest force, because it has already passed three membranes to reach in our universe. But there is a huge problem behind this theory. Like other grand unified theory model, the super string theory is lack of experimental experience. There are no super symmetrical particles have been discovered and recent research at LHC and Taiwan Chong has included some of the ranges.